In this presentation we're going to look at multiple ANOVA in SPSS and in particular we're going to look at uh, Wilkes Lambda and the test for between subject effects. The SPSS version we're using is SPSS 19 and the data set we're using is called Chicada, I believe it's pronounced, or Chicada. The fixed factor is the categorical variable species and the dependent variables are as follows, BW, WL and BL. We are not going to use the independent variable WW or the deep, sorry, the numeric variable WW. Now, as I said before, what we're interested in is Wilkes Lambda. There's a couple of other similar tests there. I'm just going to look at Wilkes Lambda uh, to uh, pick one out. And also the test for between subject effects. Okay. So let's look at our data set now. So this is what we're specifically interested in in this presentation, Wilkes Lambda and the test for between subject effects. So let's bring up our data set here. Here we are, Chicago. So we're going to use this variable, this variable, and this variable. Here is our species over here. Now what we're going to do first off is go to Analyze, and the menu we go down to is General Linear Model, not Generalized, General. General Linear Model, and then we go to Multivariate. So I just that's a good uh, place to pause and just take a quick look at that and write it down. So I'm going to continue now. So I have it all set up here. I have species as the fixed factor and I have the three numeric variables that I indicated before as the dependent variables. In this particular for this particular video, I there's nothing really in these uh options that are going to be of any use to us right now. They're always worth having a look at, but right now uh there's nothing there right now that we need. So I'm going to move on from that. Uh, they are, w are worth looking at. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, so first off we have the uh, number of valid cases. So we have the three species here, Tredecassini, Tredecim, Tredecim and Tredicula. I, I'm not sure how that's the proper way to pronounce it, but that's my best guess. Now, the multivariate test. So first off we're interested in is, I'm going to expand this out a bit, that what we're interested in is the Wilkes Lambda. So what we're going to do, there's a quite a lot of code here, or code output, and uh, what we're going to do is look specifically at species, this row here, this, seg uh, this set of rows here, species, and I've picked out Wilkes Lambda, but there's a couple of other uh, uh, tests you can look at. So Wilkes Lambda, and I'm going to look at the uh, the, the, the test statistics which are over here and also the significance value which is down here. The significance value also known as the p-value. The p-value is uh, small so we have a the, the outcome of this test is that Wilkes Lambda we have a, a significant test statistic. That means essentially that species is quite important in determining differences uh, there are for, for in amongst the numeric variables that for one so for some of the numeric variables there will be a difference in uh, of of one of the numeric variables, if not if not more, depending on the species. For example, Tridecim might have a bigger, on average, a much bigger um, uh, BW value than Tridicular, or something like that. So that's that one there. I'll let you have a proper read of that from your any notes you have. We we're going to look at the test for between subject effects. I'm going to close that back a bit and bring that into the center. Again, what, there's quite a lot of output here, but again, what we're going to look at specifically is this row here, the set of uh, output here. So these are the three uh, uh, numeric variables, the three dependent variables. We have the test statistic over here, and also what we have here is the significance values. Now, this is not a significant value, a significant uh, p-value or significant uh, uh, it's not, uh, it's not uh, particularly low so what that says to me is that really there is not really that much difference between species for the bw variable that more or less they're more or less uh, homogeneous but for the other two wl and bl that indicates that one of the species has at least one of the species has quite different values from the rest uh, in terms of WL and BL, quite pronounced for BL. So that would indicate that, uh, uh, particularly for BL, that one of the species is quite different, has a quite different range of values for BL compared to the others. And that ends our presentation.